They've got the gym rocking here at Brookfield Academy where the undefeated Blue Knights play host to Milwaukee Morris Marshall, which also comes in with a perfect record. The Eagles of Morse Marshall were playing their third game in a four day span. This one would prove to be the most challenging. Brookfield Academy is highly regarded and their fans show up decked out and ready to make noise. The Blue Knights look tough from the opening tip. Joe Lemon with the big time rejection. Then on the near end, Lemon, a 6'5 senior, steps up and buries the free ball. Brookfield Academy is jumping out to a big lead. Ryan Clary seemed to be getting to the basket at will. Clary splits two defenders off the window. He would have a huge night. Then it's Aaron Gex following his own miss back up and in. Blue Knights lead 17 to four, timeout Eagles. Closing seconds of the first half, here comes Ryan Clary again. He beats the buzzer and BA leads it 39-24 at the half. After a fine drumline show and plenty of dancing at the break, Morse Marshall starts to get more comfortable. Here's Tommy Harbin into the lane, knocking down two of his team high 29. Eagles are within six. Then they're on the run. Here's Cedric Armstrong can't finish, but Harbin is there for the putback, and this game is tied. On the other end, Joe Lemon finds Alex Setzer for the hoop. Blue Knights back up two. Down one in the final minute, it's Donovan Sanders with the quick release on the three ball. Eagles up two. But here's Clary again to the basket, slicing through the defense. Clary scored 39. Keep on dancing, kids. This one's going to overtime with an unbelievable finish. One second left in OT. Morse Marshall down by a point. The alley-oop is too strong, but it bounces out to Donovan Sanders. The basket counts. Morse Marshall wins 67-66 to improve to 6-0. When you put it up, what was going through your mind? Money. <laughs> Money. That's it. You know, it's always feel good to win on the road, you know, especially in a hostile environment like this. All the players, are, they came out a little nervous. Second half, they put it all together, we made it happen. Now to a matchup of undefeated Woodland Conference teams. It's Whitnell from the Woodland East visiting Pewaukee from the West. Pewaukee would jump to a quick lead with this steal and layup by Redmond Wallace giving the Pirates the early 4-0 lead. Later in the half, Whitnell got their O going with the assist from Corey Drews to Kevion Taylor for the easy two. Whitnell goes up by five. Pewaukee would battle back late in the half with seven unanswered points. Here, Alex Clement jumps the passing lane, passing it to teammate Aiden Nordquist, who gets the easy layup. Aiden with a season-high 25 points in the game. Pewaukee up 30-24 at the half. The Pirates came out of the locker room, continuing to add to that first half run. Aiden driving to the hoop for the uncontested two. Pirates go up 37-24. Later in the second half, Whitnell's Darren Thomas steals the ball and pitches it ahead to an all-alone Tyler Hero for the hoop. Pirates would maintain the lead with great shots like this three by Jack Golke, who drained three threes on the night. Now what a way to get a fast break. The Pirates throw the ball off the head of the referee, and Hero takes the ball the length of the court for the jam. Whitnell trailing 55-43 late in the half. Taylor making this tough shot would have a game-high 27 points on the night, but it wouldn't be enough to hold off the Pirates, who take this one 64-53. Pewaukee improves to 6-0. We started out a little slow, but uh, I think we came up to our own. I think we played how we always do. We didn't shoot the ball as well as we could have, but I think we, our defense stepped it up and played the easy buckets. It's a huge win. you got to keep building on for the future. 